Hey guys, Shannon here with PNM. We're here today to give you a behind the scenes look at the PNM fridge recycling program. We're here at a customer's home who scheduled his fridge to be picked up to be recycled. Hey Dave, um, what did you hear about the fridge recycling program? I believe it was on the TV. What made you decide to participate in the PNM fridge recycling program? Uh, the actually, so they can pick it up. That was a plus because trying to get rid of one of these is hard and the $50 doesn't hurt. Did you know that older refrigerators are much less energy efficient than new ones? Your old refrigerator or freezer could be using 20% of your home's electricity. If you recycle it, P&M will pick it up for free and will give you $50. A 25-year-old refrigerator can use up to three times more electricity than a new one, 1,500 kilowatt hours per year, compared to about 500 kilowatts per year. If you remove an older secondary refrigerator, you could save about $175 annually on your electric bill. Some people ask why the unit has to be working, or why we need to hear the compressor kick on if it's just going to be smashed up and recycled. Well, it's because this is an energy saving program. An old fridge or freezer could use up to 20% of your home's electricity. By taking units that require so much power off of the electric power grid, you're not only saving money each month, but you're also saving a lot of energy too. Here's how you get your $50 for recycling your old working refrigerator or freezer. P&M recycles these units for our residential and business customers. After you schedule your pickup, your old fridge or freezer will be hauled away to be recycled. You will receive your check for $50 in four to six weeks. Now if you're asking or wondering if your old refrigerator or freezer is eligible for a $50 recycling check, well, in order to be eligible, your old refrigerator must be in working condition, plugged in, and be a typical kitchen size unit, 10 to 30 cubic feet in size. Unfortunately, dorm size refrigerators do not qualify. There is a limit of two refrigerators and or freezers per household. Now that we've taken you along with us to see what it's like to have your refrigerator or freezer picked up from your home, we're here at the warehouse today to give you an idea of what it's like once it's ready to be recycled. Come on, let's take a look. All right, we're here with Steven with ARCA just to walk you through a little bit of the process on what recycling your refrigerator or freezer might look like. Hi, Steven. Hello. Can you tell me what ARCA stands for? Sure, it's the Appliance Recycling Centers of America. All right, Stephen, you want to walk us through what this process looks like when customers recycle their refrigerator or freezer? Yes. So as soon as the truck comes back from picking up the units at the various residences throughout town, they typically bring back about two dozen units per truck per day. They'll bring them back, they'll stage them here, and from here we'll remove the aluminum that's inside the refrigerators on the doors, and we'll also remove the cords as well too. And these will be recycled. So once, once that's done, then they determine what type of a, of a refrigerant that the refrigerator contains. If it has 134A, we put it here in the front. If it's an older one with R12, we put it on the, on the back. We'll harvest out the Freon that's in each unit in a safe manner. We can service up to eight units at a time with the way that we operate here. Once the Freon is drained out of the, of the units, from that point, we'll remove the compressor and from there we'll also take out the copper, the aluminum, um, the precious metals that are, that are in there, the wire. And then we, depending on the year of the refrigerator, if it's an R12, we will go down, we'll saw it, we'll chip out the insulation that's inside, and then we'll send it to the recycle yard so it can be made into other things. Now it needs to be in working order, but it doesn't need to be in perfect working order. But we need to hear the compressor kick on and that unit will qualify, but it does have to work. Once we finish with it, we load it up onto this trailer. Each unit goes to the scrapyard and is fed through a large grinder where the remaining parts get crushed up. Then it goes through a smelter where the impurities are melted off. From there, the materials are all recycled or repurposed. The refrigerator freezer recycling program is open for all P&M customers throughout New Mexico. Do you have an old working refrigerator or freezer that you want to get rid of? Maybe it's a second one in your garage, or maybe you're remodeling your kitchen and you're replacing your appliances. P&M can help you save energy and money. Go ahead and contact us today at 1-888-DIAL-P&M and we can get that arranged for you. 
or you can make your own appointment to have it picked up from your home at pnm.com/fridge. Thanks for coming along with us today.